Yo, welcome, welcome back to Team Visa TV interview series, season six, episode three. I'll be host tonight, Visa Boy, a special guest in the building. Come all the way from Marima. I like her accent. Yes. But we are different twist tonight. Tonight it's all about fashion. So let's welcome to Team Visa TV, the CEO of OC Fashion 868. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. You see, I'm well, I'm well. We'll see. I'm fashion. I'm in 68, but I'm in 68. 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 I'm in <laughs> right, now for the viewers, right? Who are you looking later on? Let me tell you exactly what you're looking about yourself. Well, me, I'm from the ghetto. Just trying to come out do something. Pick up me. Chain and people, Pinto Arima, yeah. They make them the same yeah, time. Yeah. <laughs> people see me as some positive, some positive coming out from my community. You know, right. You know, I don't want to. I want to let you tell them know that the world is how to pick up a gun or something that can do something else now, but get involved into something else, whether it be craft, you know? Yeah, it's all about our love. Mm -hmm. yeah, no. That is why. Yeah, besides, yeah, they're coming from far, but the name OC Fashion it is that comes from probably. You yeah. know the name? It's. The story behind it. The story is, well, my name is Brandon O'Connor. Oh! Right? <laughs> so the OC is for O Connor. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. okay. So it was really a, a way to bring the family together, and I got your family members out there that I do not know. Right. You know, so I say, well, yeah, well, if I bring out a brand like Ansa, a brand, you know, a family brand, why not bring out that Okada family brand too, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so <laughs> if I start here, we go into mechanics, but my brother doing photography, mm -hmm. you know, and yeah, we bring out a chain of business now. Like. Right. Yeah. So that's the whole like the beginning name OC yeah, fashion. Yeah, OC fashion. So what's yes. the name of Connor? You have a skill, you link with me. I find out it's investing in your skill now, but I catch you, I catch you. No, use it to the video who was on this show here with crochet. Right? Yeah. Well, I want to ask after everybody in the video, right? What is crochet? Crochet. Using thread, you can make something. You can make doilies, you can make clothes, you can make anything. Crochet, you can make anything. You understand? Right. Yeah, see, they're using crochet to use fish to make fishnet. Yeah. Fishnet? Yeah, if you're making fishnet, I, I look up. When you do some research, you see that you're making basket. Right. Yeah, fish basket and different parts are you using crochet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, chain it together. And how I'm both the encouragement, what get involved into this crochet? Well, there was something I saw my aunt do it, coming up from the country where I grew up in New Carol. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I saw my aunt do it, and my mother do it, and my sister started doing it. And I just find it strange how they're doing this thing, yes, <laughs> So I, I started reading now, because I learned from the stitches first. I didn't learn the crochet right away. Mm -hmm. I learned to read the stitches. After that, I just started crochet. Well, my sister passed away. And she left all her stuff by me. Yes, and so I did out of depression. I said, by the way, I said, I'm putting something together. And I posted on Facebook, and some friends was like, You could do that? Mm. Yes, and. But you had any idea what you was doing when you was. Yeah, I had an idea. I tried to do a door, you know, I tried to do a chair back. Okay. Yes, and, and I posted, and people started giving me encouragement, and I started doing more, started doing more. And then somebody sent me some swimwear. Yes, and I said, Well, you know, child. Mm -hmm. From that, I started in fashion shows and the brand was building. It was a hobby first yeah. and I turned it into a brand. A brand? Yeah. Figure out yourself. Figure out yourself. But, it, okay, I, I don't really familiar with the crochet, right? Yeah. Right? But I have an idea about it. You're calling yourself crochet designers? 
Yeah. Of course, you're fashion makers. Of course, you're designer. Of course, you're designer. Yeah. Okay. Can I explain it to a kosher designer? It is somebody that does make clothes, clothes all the time. Kosher. Okay, I'm kosher. This thing will spawn your head. Yeah. Um, what a bean. A bean. A taj. A yeah. taj. You have a Muslim taj or you have a bean. Okay. Yeah. Regular people just wear it, or like, as you say, Muslim is a, a feet, Muslim style. It's a Muslim style, regular people wear it. Some of the people here who want me and some. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that style. No. So this means you do it full time? It's some I do part time. Part time? Yeah, yeah. it's still a hobby. You know? mm -hmm. I didn't do it when I have free time and until I do it. Was it really established for somebody who just do that for us and free time? Like, <laughs> what are involved meant to involve in Peter Mike? Yeah. Well, I do music. I'm a little artist. I write songs. I used to dance. Yeah? Yeah. So <laughs> we get something later? <laughs> yeah, no mind. Yeah. <laughs> alright, alright, yeah. alright. How long? 868 in the game now. Five years, we got five years. Five years. Yeah. You can remember that very first design you ever created? First design was a romper, right? Yeah. Look up point for <laughs> ten. <laughs> <laughs> I was kind of frightened too because I said next thing I had a wardrobe malfunction, you understand? Yeah. When she get, she see how much you offer this. I say, well, just give me some small. I'll take a one fifty. She come and she a man and you know, and she drive off. I will put the and you know three hundred dollars. She say, well, yeah, for the credit, I will pay away with the number. You understand? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I don't really charge people much, you know. Mm -hmm. But I want the clientele. Right. You understand? So a lot of people yeah. just give me extra money and things. So some time I give back yeah. to people. Yeah. 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 If I do a fashion show, I say here what. Well, I take this, but it doesn't cost so much. Right. And I feel like the vibe that I put into the brand that I've been established the way it is to be. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 Of course, I wanted to ask, right? Yeah. Is it recommended that people who are into fashion must have a piece of cushion in the collection? No, it's not recommended. It. Recommended? No. But you wouldn't recommend it yourself? Yeah, I recommend it, but it, it goes with anything. True? Go with anything. Let's face it, for example. For example. For example, mm -hmm. look, you have a crochet top, you have a piece of fabric, it's your entire dress. You make a crochet pants. You make a crochet pants, you have a top tape. You have the arm. Um, if you like, if you wear any lasers and stuff for women, mm. yeah, just pull the crop top and pay over it for the office to keep your coat full. You know what I'm she doesn't do anything. Rock a tuxedo, yeah. Rock a tuxedo, or a tuxedo, or a crochet tie. You can crochet a tie too. You understand? Yeah, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. I want to explain to me and to the viewers, what is yarn? Yarn, yarn, we have synthetic yarn. We have, um, yarn is made from wood. Wood. Sheep, right? Mm. We fit in, we create yarn, we dye it. Yeah, different colors. You could also make yarn from fig leaf. You know, different True. type of product. Yeah. You see them yarn with a of crochet? Yeah, you yeah, dry the fig leaf uh -huh. or the banana skin or the peel on it. Right. Yeah, you dry it and you pull it and it makes trend. Oh. Yeah. All the fiber. All the fiber, you make any yarn from that too. Oh, okay, listen, you're looking at it, you're looking at it, you're looking at it. Yeah, you have to do your research. You have to do your research, you have to do your research. You're looking at it. That's how I don't agree with people's skin. Mm-hmm. You understand? You have a stiff iron, I like the acrylic iron, you know? See, I don't know what you're doing. Right. You know, ask the customer if you have a luxury car or something. What's the best iron you feel you can recommend? So far, the best iron will be the world. You want to cut more here? Cut more. Okay. But it's lighter. It does dry faster. On a scale 1 to 10, you think push designers get enough recognition? On a scale 1 to 10? I believe it's something that is growing in China. I don't know. They don't get enough mm -hmm. recognition, but it is growing in China. A lot of people take it up as a hobby. I see a lot of people on Facebook, Instagram, you know, posting stuff that they're doing. So, seeing it, on the cap, on the runway, right. cap work, I feel it inspired a lot of people to get involved in it. Mm. But when you go and you look at it globally, Africa, 
in yeah. Nigeria and South Africa, Antarctica, you know, Japan, people wearing crochet because you see this kind of weather, mm. you don't want to wear all that clothes. <laughs> so I have to make a little two piece and paint all that comfortable. I don't know if you get to call shut up two piece as I mentioned two piece. A two piece that will take me like an hour and a half. It depends on what I'm doing. Okay. Yeah, I, I just work real fast. Real fast? Yeah, because doing fashion shows and then sometimes mm -hmm. you have a little malfunction, you have to be able to capitalize now, but you have to catch yourself. So you have to be able to work when you're working on your own. Mm. You have created a new design? I think you see it today, you can say yes, I created that. Yeah, I created a lot of designs. You know, our designers become <laughs> our designers. Sometimes they make a mistake. And you go in only line, you want to come back and say, oh God, I'll come back. Yes, I want something else. Yes, yeah. <laughs> so that'll be your personal design. Yeah, that's my personal design. <laughs> so you don't even see it outside. Yeah. yeah that I wouldn't say I could claim a design now. Eh? True. Yeah, because well, yeah. people created stitches. Mm -hmm. And I tell you, I learned reading the stitches first. Mm -hmm. Right? So I'll use different stitches to create my patterns. Like old oilies and things that you see on your table top and I could take that and make it into a bikini. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I won't clean it. A lot of people create that design and I just copy it. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> what inspires OC basically? Family and bringing people together. Like, you see that's how I use the chair to bring the bring the chair together to create an outfit. Right. And then bring people together. It has made people want to do something about it. Because a lot of the models on my page are just people, regular people. Mm -hmm. And they was uncomfortable with themselves. And I said, let them be yourself. Oh, and this more big confidence now. But let somebody see who you are. So it might have somebody out there looking just like you who don't have confidence. Mm -hmm. But seeing you, they will make that person want to be something about it. It inspire people. So that is the inspiration we are in now. I was depressed for a long time and seeing people wear my clothes and made me feel happy. You know, made me want to come to me. And some of the advantages and disadvantages that it's face when, like, you have an order for somebody, you know? Yeah. But See how I'm working? <laughs> See how I'm working? Sometimes I come outside and I sleep on myself and I'm, you know? Mm. And then the next thing is the raw material. Because mm. I just had it all over fit. Where I cheap this, you know, to keep my price at a regular level. Okay. Yes, I don't know if I, I just try to build to get enough raw materials, so I don't have to be looking all over. If I get one supplier, I sell. Mm -hmm. So, you have a branch at a place that you sell? So far, I just get trade at a place called Joe's in Arima, mm -hmm. or a place called Deja, that's in Dabit. Other than that, that's the only thing like going yeah. free material. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> going free material and free material. Right. In terms of accomplishment, right? I'm not going to the aspect of it, right? Yeah. What have you accomplished in this whole industry of coaching? And it says a craft. Yeah. But everybody has it. So you understand about yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so far, what I really accomplished I did a lot of shows, I did a lot of fashion shows. And I went to Napa, I never went to Napa for the moment, like, you know. But just to see my clothes on a Napa stage, I feel that was an accomplishment for me. Mm -hmm. yes, and a lot of people in my neighborhood never see me how they do it. <laughs> so when they see me on that stage, I, I feel happy. Mm -hmm. yeah. I even made it to Tempo TV. Tempo TV? Yeah, Tempo did a interview with me once. So I reached an old day now. Like, I know you remember? And TV is a TV. What message would you send a young aspiring social designer at this coming? Invest in your craft. Keep doing what you're doing. You understand? Nobody will see your vision. You know how to bring forward your vision. You understand? You invest in yourself. You understand? Only hear that. You hear that. Just know yourself. Tell the best this, you don't have the best this. Right. I find I'm mediocre, because when, yeah, when I look out there and I see it work, I find I'm yeah. mediocre. Because what I'm saying is, it's not a certain level that you have to reach before you call somebody a crochet designer. If you want to design something, you can call yourself a designer. Okay. Yeah. 
Anything? You call yourself a designer? Yeah, you design something. I a designer. You designer. And you designer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. What's the main factor that leads you to all your success? What's your main factor? Right, my kids. Yeah. Yeah, keep talking about the kids. Yeah. 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 All my kids know they could do something in life now. You know, I said, I'll wait for someone to give you something. Right. And you could make something from nothing because basically you're making something from nothing. And don't give up. I try to keep my daughter every week. Don't give up. Try your best to finish something like I started. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, because she had this attitude she wanted to give up because she knew that it is. You see, when I did it, that you will be there, be able to do it. But you can do it eventually. You can do it every day. You know, so I can do it myself to be here for the future. But I try to be patient because she's the eldest of the three kids. Say something happened to me, you had to take over. I'll be a little rough on you sometime, but she had to go up. Yes, I yeah, had you talk about it. Right. That's so much of questions I had enough for you. I want to um, speak about marketing strategies. Yeah. What do you go about marketing yourself? Marketing, when I use Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. Okay. And as I tell you, you know, people come online with my say, but they go look at the sun and I take out a picture of them. And they're happy. You see, all the pictures I take all smiling faces because the brand itself made them. So you're putting them the outfit away to go look at you? Yeah. Okay. They're all people happy. <laughs> I just see some people wearing this, um, the vest, the last one, vest. Yeah, the last one. I just go on the green. You got to use different colors to make this? Yeah, yeah, I use different color again. Okay. And how long can you make one of them best on you? Well, and I never really do male pieces. That male pieces take a little longer because they're more trim. Okay. Yes, son. Oh, you just do really good on them? Yeah. Oh, I'll catch, I'll catch, I'll catch. She's not happy because I'll catch, I'll catch, I'll catch. Tell me, think about that. Come on. Well, what I can say. Pull the side more. I could say as a young entrepreneur, I just love your vibes, you know? The energy. Yeah. Yeah, you just go with it, man. You, you let nobody tell you you can't reach further than ways you now. The sky's the limit. You understand? And in everything, put God first. And with your energy that you bring forth to Team Visa tonight, yeah. I know you will reach somewhere far. Dance. You understand? You might not see it now, but it's coming. And you choose to bring a friend with you. Always remember, don't forget where you come from. Yeah, remember that friend. Because that friend ain't just come just so. Yeah. It has to be a love, a team. You see, all of my team visa. So yeah. the movement has a team. <laughs> you understand? For any reason that your brethren do something that you don't like, or you do something that he don't like, yes. all the more as a team, tell one another. Yes. It, 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 it's only manly to do it. You understand? Don't feel shame about it, because it's somebody who consider you, who appreciate you, who talk to you and tell you where you go wrong. It's not a ranking thing. It's yes. just a love. You understand? And you're talking about your daughter, you're talking about your family, I a family person. I love to hear that. You understand? I stand in with my son regardless. The circumstances, things has been really hard. Yeah. But God will always take you through. Always remember. And whatever you wish yourself, I'm a visa telling you, I wish you get it more than whatever you wish yourself, I'll be getting more than what you wish for. All right? And you go with God and always remember the sky is the limit. And Team Visa doesn't wait till something happens to you to give you flowers. We like to appreciate people once they come on the show. Yeah. You know, they wait till something happens to somebody and say, he was a good boy. We just give you flowers. So on behalf of Team Visa, we love you and we will stand at your side. All right? And appreciate go with God and everything will follow up. Thank you.
Opportunity, right, to work with our celebrity in terms of making our outfit. Who will it be? Am I? That is a true story. <laughs> I had a true story. You want me to answer that question? I have a very, very, very really true story. So, what are these days, man? What are these days? Let's continue doing your thing, man. How often clients call for product? Yeah, if you yeah, first of all, like once every two months, I think, but now like every week, some now like two long clients. Some now like when you go to finish pieces, I know. Okay. Yeah. And we have been making for 2024. So far, well, as I said, we are trying to sponsor people and younger, upcoming designers and whatnot. So we have this show coming up called Miss Mr. Mrs. Mr. Chinbiro. They are pageant for next year. So it's a cultural pageant. We want to incorporate a lot of local designers and local ethnicities and stuff now, but you know, different aspects of it. So that's what we're looking at. a group of young people, mm -hmm. and I'm just trying to be there to mentor them now. Well, you know, in, in the future, you could always come back, though, you know? You know yeah, we'll have to make arrangements, so we will bring the delegates, and we're going to have a proper show. Have a proper show? Yeah. Right. No. The reason why I see, I want to close out it because we have two segments to do it tonight. Yeah. Because so now you close out the display. I know sure that not just now. <laughs> just now. Right? Now, it have any place that you're located that will come to purchase this stuff or is it strictly social media? Let me show you. Strictly social media. I was born two years ago, I lost my home. Right? So I know I just stay my mom's and I can't really accommodate all that. I just live in rough, man. Yeah. I just live in rough. If I tell you the story. I had to have a party. A party? Yeah, right? So, yeah. I had to real hard for it. I know that I'm trying to come on time, probably to a generation of cooks or something. You know, I'm trying to bring that in the kind of talk. I feel it's that. Mm. Trying to come on time, like, right? Try prayers, that's all. Yeah, I just really pray, or I feel like it's a day. Real. I get a fire, bro. Yeah, man. <laughs> that's true, that's true, that's true. That's true. No, best ad worst advice you ever get that you can remember up to this day. <laughs> Laugh loud. Give up. Eh? Give up. <laughs> give up. Yeah. You tell me give up. Tell me give up. I said, I ain't not good at anything. Yeah, so. I wouldn't say who said that, but. No, no, you can. Yeah, but the rest of my life, I give up on this life. Yeah. Find something else. I go for mental work. Yeah, that's so. Opportunity as well. I'll pick up 
but what I want is this. A virgin shipment. Your Indian Matsui come from the big one. Yeah, I got a virgin. Big one, boy. You know, you want to take the top. Yes, I have a big one. My too, buddy. But if one for sure, I will not be here today. Yes, sir. Well, we have come to our close with the interview part of this episode three, <laughs> season six. Now to view this full episode, go subscribe to our YouTube channel at Team Visa TV. Follow us on Instagram at Team Visa underscore TV for the latest updates. The handles before we close off. People could find OC Fashion 868. OC Fashion 868, TikTok, Facebook, and Instagram. What's up? 298-5472 two 298-5472 two Anything from outside there? Yeah? Say yeah? <laughs> yes <laughs> Well, I must say good night again to you, Mr. Opsi Alright It's a big challenge this is a, a thing that an ancient. <laughs> this is an ancient something because um, I saw my sister did this, but she more using nylon, nylon thread. Yeah. She made call for to the nylon, and, uh, and a, a nice opportunity to for young people to start. If it's a class, you know, teach some. Yeah. Because it's not so much an idle children nowadays. Hmm. But I wish hmm. that some bring back the old time settings yeah. that they can teach them young girls. I mean, when the boys do they go say they're feminine, but nevertheless, this is something is a, a great, great product of the old time tradition. No, I hold on you also, so I don't know. Yeah. You understand? I do wish for people to start back at classes in a center and give young children something to do because it's too much of idleness right now. A lot. You understand? Yeah. And we the older folks dying with what we know. Yeah, not teaching the younger ones. And if you as a young person have this blessed opportunity, I wish you teach somebody that they can live on. Yeah. Yeah. It's a nice it's a nice thing. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. As I said, go subscribe to YouTube channel at Team Visa TV. Follow us on Instagram, Team Visa underscore TV for the latest updates. OC's Fashion 868. Boss himself, he's here. Season 6, episode. I know what I know. Let me know.